Hey, it's Dan Call from Winco Generators. Today's video is going to be how to start and load a portable generator. Portable generators can be really dangerous. They've got engines, gasoline, carbon monoxide, and electricity. All of these things have to be respected. This is no substitute for reading and understanding your operator's manual, and don't do anything that you're not competent for. This video will be broken into three parts. The first part is going to be how to start the generator. The second part will be how to load it. And then the third part is how to shut it down properly. So when you get ready to start the generator, one of the first things you need to do is make sure you're in the right environment. Make sure that you're in a dry, make sure it's a level area, and uh, make sure that it's well ventilated as well. This video is being filmed in a special test bay designed to ventilate and allow us to run indoors. Air-cooled engines burn a little bit of oil during operation. It's essential to check the oil level daily to ensure that it's not low. Operating an engine on low oil can cause the oil to break down sooner and cause engine wear. Relying on the low oil shutdown to tell you when to fill oil will cause damage. Before you start the generator, you want to have your equipment unplugged, turned off, or the circuit breaker open. This will prevent the low voltage during startup from causing damage to your equipment. Before you start the engine, you'll need to turn on the fuel. The valve is open when it, the handle is running parallel to the valve for the fuel flow. Based upon the temperature that you're operating in, you may need to choke the engine before starting. Next, turn the switch to the run position. On recoil start engines, you will then pull the recoil until the engine starts. If you have an electric start model, you will turn the key switch to the start position and crank not more than five seconds at a time, leaving at least 10 seconds to recover so you do not burn out your starter. Now that you have your generator running, um, you're ready to start loading it. Plug in your heaviest loads first and get them started and running before you start your lighter loads. Another important reminder is if you're starting a motor and it takes more than one to two seconds for the engine to recover and get back up to speed, um, you need to stop and fix whatever is wrong before you damage either the generator or the equipment. Another important factor is to load your equipment evenly. Winco has a Eurogen meter that shows you how to properly load the equipment and spot and troubleshoot problems. Watch our video that covers that. Now that it's time to shut down your generator, you're gonna do it just the opposite of startup. So first, you're going to unplug your loads or shut them off. Then, you're gonna let the engine cool down for two to three minutes. This is important because it allows the engine to dissipate heat and it's gonna reduce the amount of heat soak you get when you turn off the fan with the engine. Next, you're gonna go and turn the switch from the run position to the off position and the engine's going to shut down. If you're going to be storing your equipment or transporting it, it's important to shut off the fuel. We don't recommend running the carburetor dry if you're going to be storing it for long periods of time. We recommend using a product like Stabil in order to protect the carburetor and prevent it from gumming up. This concludes the basics of operating a generator. We appreciate you watching our video and look forward to talking to you in the future.